Cecilia and Florence have arrived in the UK, ready to bore their way through the Chiltern Hills. Those are the names given to HS2's two tunnelling machines. They'll work non-stop over the next three and a half years on what is the cornerstone of the £106 billion project. But just down the road, protesters, including campaigner Swampy, were blocking a bridge in the hope that they can stop building work. Our political correspondent Simon Harris reports. In the middle of a river on top of a bamboo tower, an eco-warrior is lying in a net clutching a hot water bottle for comfort. His name is Daniel Hooper, the activist formerly known as Swampy. And he's here in Denham Country Park on the edge of London to try to stop HS2. I do think it can be stopped because I think uh, people are seeing the devastation. They're seeing the cost of it's going up and up. How long are you prepared to stay on your perch? Well... Let's see how long it takes, eh? Swampy first came to the public's attention more than 20 years ago when he took part in a series of high-profile protests against new roads. Today, his target is a temporary bridge which HS2 engineers want to put across the River Colne. We build a beacon, you Swampy is supported by a community of environmentalists who've been camped out in these woods for months. They're surrounded by an orange army of construction workers and security guards. The activists might be determined, but HS2 has the full backing of the government. And just a few miles from here, work on the new railway has moved up a gear. Just outside Denham is the most visible statement that this £106 billion railway is on track. The entrance to a pair of tunnels beneath the Chilterns. It's a huge project. It's massive. Uh, we are going to do a twin tunnel, two tunnels in parallel, 16 kilometres long. So it's really, a, it's really a big project. Really challenging. Before the digging can start, the engineers must first rebuild the 2,000 ton tunnel boring machines, which were made in Germany and then taken apart to be delivered as a flat pack. It's James Riley's job to make sure it all goes back together in the right order. I like to think of it as a big Meccano set. Personally, it's hugely exciting. I mean, to see all these parts here now is quite a, a big moment for me now. I've been working with the project for two and a half years, so now to actually see these parts here, it really shows that we're about to start this uh, exciting project. This is a huge site next to the M25. Its scale isn't lost on the protesters. It's intimidating. It's, it's, it's a horror show, right? Um, but that has to drive us forward into stopping it from happening all the way up the line. HS2 says disruption caused by activists has cost more than £20 million. But Swampy and his friends aren't giving up. Simon Harris, ITV News, Denham.